Messi takes the advantage of the spaces in the midfield to allow his side to complete the transition. He takes on the one-on-one -on -one situation and then plays the ball to the side to stretch the opposition's block. Let's have a look at this from Messi's perspective. Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will discuss everything related to free roaming on the pitch. If you haven't heard of this term before, it's simply given to the best player in the team, who will be responsible to move around without sticking to their position in order to break the opposition's defensive systems. We can say that 90% of the time, only one player will be given full free roaming responsibilities per team. As you can see on the screen, in comparison to another player in the same position, the free roaming player is involved in every aspect of the attacks. Let's have a look at what this player is supposed to do. As more teams are using zonal systems now, the free roaming player will play a key role in countering this zonal style. Here Messi drops down outside of the 10 man defensive block and switches the play to the other side. By switching the play quickly, you aim to catch the opposition out of shape as the block is moving towards the other side. Notice how Messi continuously scans the pitch when he does not own the possession of the ball, so he has his decision set before receiving it. So he drops down here, makes sure he has enough spaces to receive the ball and turn around to avoid any negative possession as much as possible. And then, there were no clear passing opportunities between the 9-man block of Juventus, so he switches the play. Let's have a look at this from his perspective. I often talk a lot about the benefits of scanning in my videos, and I want to introduce you to Be Your Best, an amazing tool which is scientifically proven to improve your scanning. Be Your Best is a virtual reality training tool designed to improve players' cognitive performance. The main skill that Be Your Best trains is your scanning, but it is also used to improve players' vision, decision-making, and memory, allowing you to train these difficult skills from home anytime you want. In Be Your Best, you'll play through over 800 scenarios recreated from real-life professional games, just like the clips that you will see throughout this video. Alongside the scenario training, the tool comes with a lot of added features to help you improve your performance. Your stats tracking hub allows you to monitor your performance over time, while position-specific training means you can work on your scanning from any area of the field. Finally, the replay analysis tool lets you look back at your training, seeing what you did wrong and where you can improve. Be Your Best has been used by both amateur and professional players all over the world, with Arsenal star Martin Odegaard having even trained with it during his injury period. It's also backed by science with a recent 9-week study seeing players who trained with it improve their scan rate by 28%. To get started with Be Your Best, all you need is a MetaQuest VR headset and a Be Your Best subscription. You can use the code MITSUGR50 to redeem a huge 50% off on your membership. Be quick though as anyone who signs up in the next 2 weeks will get a free consultation from a UEFA A licensed coach. You can seek advice, tips or talk about problems you're facing that you need help with. When the opposition is applying zonal systems, you will have multiple defenders sharing their defensive duties to mark you. Moving quickly and linking up correctly with your teammates will allow you to exploit the spaces between the block. When the opposition is using a low block, try pushing them backwards as much as possible before switching the play. In this example, you can see how Messi moved out of position to receive the ball outside of the defensive block, and then to counter the zonal system, he switched the play quickly to Neymar on the left-hand side. Notice the spaces that Neymar has now while Juventus is moving their block. During this process, the defensive line was stretched out, leaving spaces inside the box. On the other hand, you need to know when to use the spaces between the lines. Here you can see how Messi is scanning before asking for the ball. Notice the amount of scans and shoulder checks to locate his teammates and oppositions. As he was moving towards the box, he wanted to receive the ball in front of him, but the pass was short and now he has his back towards the goal. Using the information he collected earlier, he goes for the sloped through pass inside the box without looking at Alejandro Gomez. That's why scanning without the ball is really important. Here Messi was marked heavily. So he links up with Neymar and Suarez, who were positioned between the lines instead of him, while he goes around the defensive block towards the box. Similarly, you can work on these short 1-2 passes to get rid of your markers. 
Being positioned between the lines when you have the freedom to roam around can be tricky sometimes. You do not want to remain in one area for a long period as this will make it easier for one opposition to mark you. You can even concentrate on playmaking towards the spaces between the lines. Here Messi drops down to receive the ball then passes it to Neymar between the lines. Let's have a look at this from Messi's perspective. Understanding when your team needs you to be positioned yourself between the lines and when it is better to drop down, receive the ball from the back and deliver these balls yourself is important. Always drop down when your team is struggling to build the attacks on the ground. This video is brought to you by Play by Metrica Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform. Use the coupon MitsuJR at the checkout for a 10% discount. As a free roaming player, you want to grab the attention of the opposition. In these examples, you can see how Messi is pulling multiple players from the opposition towards him, which obviously creates an imbalance in the defensive shape of the opposing team. Here, Messi is surrounded by four players in a very tight situation. Keep in mind that you need to keep the possession of the ball in such scenarios. You will not be required to deliver an assist every time you are marked like that, but you will be responsible for dropping down and losing the possession of the ball if it was intercepted, even when you are marked by four players. By continuously pulling a lot of players out of position, you will be creating a lot of goal scoring opportunities when your teammates perform the correct runs between the lines. And again I would say, performing enough scans before dropping down to receive the ball will save you a lot of trouble. You want to carry the ball forward as much as possible. In this example, you can see how Messi receives the ball in his own half. But then, instead of passing the ball quickly, he takes the advantage of the spaces available in front of him and keeps the possession of the ball. Notice how four players from Juventus are marking Neymar and Suarez. By moving forward, he will keep pushing those four players further back. Passing the ball earlier on would have made it easier for the defenders to intercept the ball. And then once one player starts pressing him instead, he takes on the one-on-one -on -one situation. By that, he reaches the penalty area. Now he's in a good position to either pass the ball or go for a shot. Same concept here, whenever you have spaces in front of you, try to make the most out of those areas to push the defenders backwards. If you find it difficult to know when to drive forward and when to pass the ball, the Econo Coaches Academy has provided a training drill on this topic. Let's have a look. So, two teams of four players versus a keeper and two defenders. The center backs should alternate their behavior, where they would press the ball owner or stay back. Before the player receives the ball, they must look at the runs made by their teammates as well as the positioning of the center backs. If you want to know more about this training drill and receive plenty of other material to enhance your football knowledge, you can use the code MITSUJR to access your first 15 days for free, as well as other discounts if you decided to stay. Remember that you can cancel your membership anytime during the free period. You can find the link in the description. As a free roaming player, you need to be versatile. Switching up how you play multiple times during one single match is really important, which means that sometimes you will drop down to receive the ball from the back line to get rid of your markers pull some defenders out of position, or just win some minutes while your team is owning the position of the ball. Receiving the ball outside of the opposition's block will eventually mean that one or more players would be forced to leave their positions to press you. It will also allow your teammates to use the spaces left between the lines. Try to be involved as much as possible. Be closer to the ball no matter where the play is coming from, and then evaluate the situation and find solutions. Some other times you'll link up with the defensive midfielder, and play long passes as a deep-lying playmaker. Here, Messi noticed the forward run from Suarez inside the box. He delivered the long pass and Barcelona won a penalty. Look out for the forward runs when you are out of position, as these are always your teammates' natural progression to the work you are doing by pulling the defenders out of position. A free roaming player is usually used to counter the high pressure as well. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Around 30% of you guys free roam around the pitch already, so I believe this video will help you excel in your position, and would also allow the rest of you guys to have an idea of the roads required to start working from there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.